What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Design Lounge. Today I'm going to be recreating this Batman 1966 poster that I made a few years ago. Somebody reached out to me and said, hey, do you still have that poster? And I was like, yeah, I sure do. And so I go into my files and I see that I've only got a flattened JPEG of it. So um, I need to recreate a vector version of it. And I think today I'm going to actually, I'm going to recreate it and then maybe update the typography a little bit. Now, before we get started, please remember to hit like and subscribe down below and also click the bell for notifications to be notified every time I upload new content. Now, let's make a poster. All right, so I'm here in Illustrator and um, this right here is actually the flattened JPEG that I have. And I'm actually really glad that I have this because then I'd have to go back and find those exact uh, shades of color uh, for all of these different uh, tubes and everything. So if you're unfamiliar with Batman, the 1966 movie, basically um, the, the plot of the villains is to, um, let's see, uh, what is it, dehydrate, <laughs> uh, is to dehydrate all of the, the nine world leaders, and they put them in these little tubes, and they're basically reduced down to sand. Uh, so, like, you know, like all, all these different colors of sand. So, um, very silly movie, but I, I just, I love the movie. I grew up watching it, so, and I also love the TV series as well that, that it's based on. Uh, but anyway, so that that's what this re uh, represents, and I, I had the idea, that I think I made this back in, like, 2017 or 2018 or something like that um but i was i always thought it was a cool design anyway so let's go ahead and recreate it so the uh, original design uh i believe was in 11 by 14 but i'm actually going to change it to um i'm going to put this at 18 by 27 because it is a movie poster and you know like it you know just, I, like I, I think that it kind of deserves a little bit more of that uh vertical scale there so um so i'm just going to lay down um i do like this margin going around the sides so I, I think i'm just going to do a one inch margin uh going around the uh edges there bring it in one inch there and then bring in one inch here and um let's see here because we have so much vertical space i think i may try a two inch margin and just kind of see how that looks we can always adjust it later so um let's go ahead and recreate uh, basically what we're doing is we're just recreating these tubes. I'm going to uh, turn this down to 50% so I can actually see what I'm drawing on top of this here. And basically we're just going to recreate uh, what, we've, what we've got right here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and draw this um, shape uh, right here for, the, for these uh, beakers or vials or however you want to, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let me make sure that my smart guides, are my smart guides on? Okay, there we go. Okay, so that way I can go right up against that and we'll be good right there. Okay, so I'm just kind of create that right there. Basically what I do, uh, like when I'm recreating stuff, uh, just at least at the very beginning, I said, uh, like I'll make it a different, a completely different color, um, just just really so I can see the differences and, it, and then I just go back in and uh, change the color of those later. So, um, so now that we've got this uh, basic one, they're all exactly the same. So what we're going to do is just going to hold uh, option, drag it over. And then once we drag one over, we're just going to do command D to duplicate it. Okay, now uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and create the holder uh, for this or the case or whatever, whatever this thing actually is, you know, thing. <clears throat> okay, so 10 point, I think that's good. All right, so now let's just grab all of this and we'll move this down here. Uh, we'll adjust probably the bottom uh, anchor points right here so that, so that it is going like in that area, okay? So let's grab all of this, move this over here. Now I'm gonna go back to unlock all, bring this back up. Okay, so we're, we're gonna keep this uh, the top and this bottom piece, the same color, and we're also gonna select the yellow right here, and then make this like a, this kind of medium gray color. And then now all we have to do is really just color sample uh, each of these individual uh, beakers. And from what I remember, when I when I originally made this video, I'm I'm just about a hundred percent sure that I went in to make sure that all of these colors were accurate. <laughs> so these are the actual colors, and if you look at them, they're very you know 1960s uh, colors uh, anyway. And um, I'm pretty sure that I went in and, and did that because 
you know, like when, when doing stuff like that, I would definitely go in and make sure that it was authentic. Okay, so now we're just gonna align this to the center, align it to the bottom. Okay, so we're good there. Now we gotta do the, ref uh, the, um, the reflection, which is really easy. So now all we got to do is just kind of draw, like I want to get it, uh, like a sense of the height of, of, of the reflection here. So just kind of grab that right there. And now we're going to put this starting about right here. Grab these two anchor points. Oops. There we go. Grab this one and this one. Hold down shift so we can move exactly in a straight line. So there's our reflection. Now let's just lay it on top. And I'm going to send it behind uh, this piece right here. Okay, so let's align it to about. Let, let me ungroup all of these right here so I can select this one individual piece, and then I'll just kind of move it down. Maybe I think quarter inch is good. Okay, and then set the opacity at 25 percent. And I think this is how I did it the last time. I just use the Pathfinder and then go in and get rid of get rid of the ones that are uh, that are in between the actual uh, beakers themselves. So now we've now we've got us an actual um, reflection going on there. All right, so let's grab all of this and move this over. It's looking good. All right, so now uh, I'm going to put this in the dead center and let's just kind of adjust the width. Of this so it's an exact number so we're at 14 uh, inches um, I like the idea of it possibly being um, like also continuing the two inches uh, on each side although now that I'm looking at this I think that our two inch margin may be a little bit much all right so I think this I think this is better right here. Yeah, uh, th this uh, this definitely holds um, holds that image in place um, a lot better. And then from this point, um, like we're really almost done. There's not really too much more we can do with this. What I might do this time that I didn't do before is go in and add m m uh, like maybe like a slight grain texture to it, so that uh, so that we can actually give that sand um, that's in there um, uh, you know a, a little bit of texture. So uh, I'm not sure that looks like it may have been Gotham, which is very fitting, uh, but I don't actually have Gotham anymore. So, uh, which sucks actually, because that would be, that would really be the perfect uh, font, uh, font for this because it's Batman, right? Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's do optical uh, for this. I, I believe when I made this, I think that Gotham was a free font, possibly. It may have been part of Google fonts. Um, I don't really remember. Um, I don't remember exactly, but I, I, I always did like the um, like the light and heavy uh, going on here, and I think I'm gonna color match it to that gray right there. Um, let's see, or let me see, let me let me grab this exact. Okay, that is the that is the same one. Good. All right, so let's just retype uh, this uh, this piece right here. Yeah, I think that Gotham at one point. Um, was a, was a free font. I'm not sure who had it. It may have been uh, Google. I'm not sure. But I do know that when I made it, I didn't have um, Adobe fonts, which at the time was uh, Typekit. Okay. So let's grab all these. If, you've, uh, if you're a Batman fan and you've never seen the, the Batman 1966 movie, I do recommend it because it gives you a sense of, you know, like, it really is responsible for you know, the popularity of Batman, because from, from everything I've read, obviously I wasn't alive in 1966, but from everything that I've read, um, before that, uh, before that show came out, Batman was really just kind of like, he wasn't necessarily that popular. Um, so at least from what I've read, like it, it wasn't uh, really super popular. So that, uh, that TV series, which led to the movie, uh, really gave Batman a lot of, um, a lot of pop culture um, relevance there. Let's see. Okay, Batman. And I think that I am going to, let's see, I like that size right there. And I think I will stick with the tracking. Actually, it's kind of extreme, isn't it? 
I think 400 is good. And I think that font size is a little bit too, well, I, I think it, well, maybe it could be large. I don't know, let's try it. I think it's a little bit too, I think it's a little bit too large. So if we take it down to about 90, I think that's good. And then we'll just duplicate, nope, not that. Duplicate this text down here. And we'll just say the movie. And uh, this is 400, so we'll just make it the same. Okay, and I think that since we've got that uh, that vertical space in there, let's go ahead and get our spacing between these two figured out. Let's see, I think that's good, half an inch is good. Since we have that, uh, that extra space, I think I'm gonna throw the director's name in there. So let's go find the director. For some reason, I can't um, can't remember the name of the director. So here we go, Batman the movie, and this. Oh yeah, Le, uh, here we go, Leslie H. Martinson. And we'll just kind of grab this down here. I think I'll use the light version for the director's name. And we'll just follow follow the all caps thing uh, that's laid out in the rest of the video. Okay, <clears throat> bring it up by negative three inches right there. I think that's good. Um, it might be a little too light just to sit on a line of its own. So I think regular is gonna be a good one to, to go with that. And um, just for consistency, let's match the rest of these. And as far as I know, yes, uh, unless you unless unless you define any, any type of type styles ahead of time, you do have to go in and do these individually. But that's fine. It only takes like 30 seconds or so. Okay. So now we have our movie poster. Let me group these two together since we're happy with the alignment. This is exactly three inches from the bottom. So let's let's align this to the center. Okay, good. And, yep, that's good. I want to see what this looks like when we do align, uh, like distribute the spacing. I think it may need to sit a little bit lower. So let's bring it down to about right there and then we'll just push it up maybe by an inch and a half. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I like that. All right. Um, and uh, I just had a thought too so let me get this out of the way if you wanted to give this oh not I didn't want to do that I meant to duplicate it there we go if you wanted to give this like a 1989 Tim Burton feel you change the text to white this background to black I think it works well like obviously you'd have to go in and change these At this point, I'm really just playing, which I love doing in Illustrator. You could do that and then change those little gray areas, uh, these little gray shapes right here to uh, black. So that kind of gives it like a, you know, oops, there we go. And maybe if we color it there. Okay, yeah, that's that's got a very uh, Tim Burton type of vibe to it, but that's not really what we're going for here. So I, I just I just thought it was a fun addition. All right, so let's draw a shape around this so we can grab everything that's in this area and copy it exactly over to Photoshop. And it still maintains our bleed uh, right there and also the margin. Okay, so let's go in add a layer of grain and I don't think we need too much let's zoom in to 100% just to see what it is uh, gonna kind of look like here doesn't have to be too rough and no vignette that looks good to me and then we'll just use uh, our blending modes I think overlay is probably gonna give us the best uh, result Although soft light can uh, can do a, a good job of that as well. I don't really want, well, I guess I could, like you could apply it to the entire 
uh, poster there and I think still look good. Okay. All right, but it's real slight. This is not something that you would that you would really see unless you were right up on the poster itself. But here it is, uh, my recreated Batman 1966 movie poster, uh, made up of the little uh, beakers or vials of the sand that the villains all captured as the United World leaders. So that was that was a lot of talking, but that's that's basically what this is. So here it is. Uh, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and also click the bell for notifications to be notified of all new content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.